Our next story is from North Korea. This morning, it fired a ballistic missile over Japan, the biggest provocation in recent times. It stopped trains, halted commute, and left sirens blaring. Fortunately, no damage was reported from this launch. But Japan is not taking this matter lightly. It says it is examining all options, including, quote-unquote, counter-attack capabilities. What does that mean? Our next report tells you. Halted trains. Stranded commuters. Blaring sirens. And loudspeakers issuing warnings. This was the state of Japan, a state of fear and uncertainty. Courtesy, a missile test by North Korea. At around 7.29 a.m. local time, Pyongyang launched a ballistic missile, which flew over Japan and crashed into the Pacific. This was North Korea's first missile test over Japan since 2017. Naturally, it sent alarm bells ringing in the country. The government was quick to ask people to take cover. North Korea launched a missile that has flown over our country and the nationwide incident alert system J-Alert was activated. Train services were temporarily halted. I was really surprised. It happened early in the morning, so it really surprised me. Many missiles have been launched before. I understood the situation, but I had a hard time realizing what was happening until now. Fortunately, no damage was reported. Neither were there reports of falling debris. But this launch was a huge provocation nonetheless. There was no pre-warning, no consultation and no alert. In most cases, an act like this can be mistaken for an attack. Japan plans to treat it as such. The country's prime minister has called it an act of violence. This is an act of violence following recent repeated launches of ballistic missiles. We strongly condemn this. The country's defense minister says Japan is examining all options available, including the ability to launch a counterattack. In light of the situation, we will continue to examine all options, including so-called counterattack capabilities, and we will not rule out anything as we continue to work to fundamentally strengthen our defense abilities. Even South Korea has joined Japan in condemning Pyongyang's recklessness. The country's president has promised to reply with a resolute response. North Korea's such reckless nuclear provocation will face resolute response from our military as well as our allies and the international community. This missile launch was no small matter. Besides violating Japan's airspace, it covered the longest distance traveled by a North Korean missile, somewhere close to a thousand kilometers. What's worse, this was the fifth missile launch by Pyongyang in 10 days. The last one being on Saturday, when two rockets crashed in the waters of Japan's exclusive economic zone. This unnerving spate of testing has sent alarm bells ringing globally. It signals the return of North Korea's brinkmanship. The question is why? What does North Korea plan to achieve through these tests? Perhaps staying relevant at a time when the world is too focused on the war in Europe. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.